Yeah, so in this demonstration, hopefully we can see this thing all right. I can set up the Wavetronic. So everything's already set up here. It's going to be more of a tutorial than anything. So you got to search, and COM3 is typically the port that I'm plugged into, which is my USB. So I'm going to go... I, I have these both set up, so we're going to go to this street, Seymour Street, and I want to go to Connect. So the most basic setup, you want to go to Sensor Setup. Oh, somebody pressed the button. That's what that clicking was. So in this one, you can set up a roadway, and the roads are typically there. You can add roadways. Um, in this case, I'm only the only detection is for the uh, bicycles. And you can change the orientation of the sensor. This is over there, so I that this orientation makes the most sense. Um, if somebody was walking by, you'd be able to see little breadcrumbs per se, and they would be people or cars walking by. Or people walking by or cars driving by. Um, so that's in lanes and stop bars, sorry. So, and you can also click on these arrows and they will actually change the direction. So I have it straight and left, because that's what's on the road. So you can move, adjust the stop bar. There's actually somebody approaching, so you can actually see the cars going by on the main road. Two, you want to set up your detection zone. So this one here, I've adjusted it so it's as small as possible. It's a little wonky, but it uh, gets the job done. Uh, you can set up, I want mine to control channel 1 and 2 for both sides. You want to go to Z1. So I have it actually, I want to set this for a 10 second delay, so there's no main street sensors at this intersection. So anytime somebody drives up to this place, just once the once the main street green has reached maximum green, it's going to change. So I want to give this bicycle sensor a 10 second delay. So if somebody pulls up to it and decides to leave, it won't change the light every single time. So it's going to ask me to save. Yes. And then verification. If somebody comes by here, this would light up red and it would tri trigger channel one and two. But no one was coming by, so I can't check that right now. So we'll go back and disconnect. So we're going to connect to Vernon Street. So right now there's a vehicle next to the th to the stop bar. So, but that shouldn't pick the light up. Or it shouldn't change the light because they're not triggering the sensor. So I just made sure channel 1 and 2 was selected on there. So this one's also already set up. Um, it was uh, having an issue where it wasn't picking up bicycles. So should only pick it up if somebody's on the detection zone for 10 seconds. So you can see that the bigger squares are supposed to be vehicles that are approaching. But I don't know why. There, there's a car that just turned up this way, so that's that's what it's picking up currently. There's not too many bicycles driving through this time of year. I'm going to drive through here on my bike in a second. I'm going to make sure she's working. And we'll... Uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. There's a couple more advanced settings, but the city doesn't really require that here. And when you're done, you want to go back. Communication, disconnect, close it out, that's it, thank you.